Hello everyone. Today we're going to be installing WordPress on our small orange account. The first thing we'll need to do is open the new account information email and within that email we need to locate the control panel URL link. Click on that link and we'll log into our control panel. Here you see the cPanel control panel for the small orange account. We're going to scroll way down to the bottom to the Softaculous Apps Installer section where we will click on the WordPress icon to begin the installation process. Here we have the Softaculous Overview screen and we'll click on the button for the install screen. This is the form that we need to submit in order to install WordPress. The first thing we need to do is select a protocol. We prefer the www version so we'll select that and you should note that you can always change this later through the WordPress dashboard. Next choose domain. The correct domain has already been filled in for us. Next is the directory in which we're to install WordPress. You can see WP here, but as we're going to be using WordPress as the content management system for the entire website, we're going to leave this blank and install WordPress in the root directory. If we were using WordPress as the content management system for only part of the site, then we would name the directory and Softaculous would automatically create that directory and install WordPress in it. But as we're using WordPress as the CMS for the entire site, we leave this form field blank. Database name, we'll leave the default, that's fine. Table prefix, we'll leave the default, that's fine. Next is select a name and a brief description for our WordPress site. We're going to call our site NCM Test Site 04. Next, We'll add a brief description and we're going to call ours NCM test site for a small orange. The next form field is enable multi-site as we only need one installation of WordPress on this site. We're going to leave that unchecked. Next we need to select a username and a password. We'll do that. You can of course use whatever name and password you'd like to use for your site. Next, we're going to add our email address here and select language. English is correct. Select plugins. Limit login attempts. That's an excellent plugin. It helps to thwart hackers and so we're going to check that. We'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We're going to leave that unchecked as we would like to receive notifications whenever WordPress has a new version available. Auto upgrade, we're going to leave that unchecked as we prefer to decide when to install the new version of WordPress. Automated backups, that's always a good idea. So we'll select once a week. Backup rotation, this is where we select the number of copies of the WordPress installation to keep on the server. I think that three will suffice for our purposes. Next, we're going to fill in an email address where we'd like the details of this installation sent, namely the username and the password so we can file it. So we add our email address and finally we can click install. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. That's good to know. Next, we're going to take a visit to the WordPress dashboard by clicking on the link that includes WP Admin. Here, we're going to log in by using the username and password we entered in the WordPress installation form. And we have arrived at our WordPress dashboard. Next thing we're going to do is click on the link to visit our site to see what it looks like and it would appear that WordPress has been successfully installed. Here's the default hello world post. 
You can, of course, delete that from the WordPress dashboard and create any new post you'd like. I want to thank you for watching, and remember to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.